The right people in the right place at the right time can make beautiful history together. When the Apollo 11 crew splashes down in the South Pacific near Johnston Island, there to meet them will be the man of the USS Hornet, a ship which has a long record of being in the right place at the right time. The United States Navy has had a USS Hornet among its forces since 1775. This is the ace ship to bear this historic name, and today is considered to be the most historic ship currently in commission in the United States Navy. Hornet was selected by NASA for this mission because of its great flexibility and capability. The skipper of the Hornet, Captain Carl Cyberling. We here in Hornet are dedicated to return to port with all crew members who embark at the outset of a cruise. In this particular cruise, we will have three additional crew members upon return, the three astronauts. Our motto for this mission is Hornet plus three. The heart of any ship are the men embarked. And so it is with this mission, with one exception. We have a combined Navy civilian team to carry the ball and bring this to a successful conclusion. A Navy civilian team. Let's meet some of the men on that team and see what their duties are. I wouldn't imagine there are too many people aboard this ship who have seen more recoveries than Jim O'Connor. Jim, tell me, what responsibilities do you have now with the pool feeds, first of all? Well, with pool, uh, we are charged with the responsibility of sending first radio reports from the ship, which was the initial mission when we first came out here. It is now enlarged to include uh, communications for General Electric and the uh, having to do with the uh, coordination of the, of the television picture via the satellite. And thirdly, we do still pictures for the pool, send them to the beach. Okay. And lastly, we are the backup audio uh, for television. In the event of a casualty, either to the system, some part of the system, uh, then the audio that you would hear on your receiver would come through our sideband facility. I do know that you coordinate uh, calls home for an awful lot of the guys aboard the ship. That is true. Uh, amateur radio, I forgot that. That is really, really not part of our pool function. But amateur radio plays a big part out here, not only for uh, the media, people like you and I, but for the troops on board this ship, namely uh, the sailors, the Marines, uh, the officers of this ship who would like to call home. Harry Hybeck is engineer in charge of Navy Electronics Laboratory Center aboard the ship, which is uh, uh, what, backing up, I guess you could say, is backing up some of the other communication systems, isn't it? Well, this, actually, I'm in charge of the uh, Taxat hut, which is aboard. Taxat, explain it. That is the tactical satellite hut, uh, which is used uh, to furnish supplementary and backup communications for command and control out of uh, Hawaii, and also uh, supplementary communications for the uh, recovery forces in Houston and uh, also through uh, the Cape, Cape uh, Kennedy. Vic Jader is the operations supervisor for ComSat, communications satellite, and uh, normally you're land-based with That's this right. job, aren't normally, you? That's uh, normally Jamesburg, California, near Monterey. What's at Jamesburg? Uh, Earth Station, uh, the Earth terminal for the satellite communications network. So in other words, the signal that is sent to the communications satellite then goes to the Earth Station there, Yes, and it's broadcast right. across the country from that's that point. Right. It starts here from the horn. It goes from the antenna in the uh, dome behind us up to a satellite, which is about 22,000 miles above the equator, and then from there down to the uh, Earth Station at Jamesburg, and then where it's distributed to the networks. Are you married, Vic? Oh, yes. Uh huh. Where does your family live? Uh, Salinas, California. What do they think about, uh, your children think about dad being aboard the Hornet now? They said, this... bring me back a baseball cap with Apollo 11 on it. <laughs> that's what they said. Well, Dean, uh, in this bubble behind me, we've got a very fancy umbrella that we use to uh, transmit television up to a satellite up over the equator and down uh, into continental United States, where it uh, finally gets into the homes and eventually relayed uh, by other satellites around the world. Walt Monroe is the director of satellite communications here aboard the ship for Western Union International. and. Uh, you're making possible something here that a few years ago was totally unheard of. It's, uh, I don't know how else to describe it other than instant history, and it's in full live living color as well, Walt. How long have you been working on it? Well, I've been on it for uh, about two and a half years now. Uh, not just uh, here with the portable antenna, which we have aboard ship, but 
I'm responsible for my company's activities in satellite television and all of its uh, ramifications uh, using fixed earth stations uh, in the United States as well as uh, consulting with uh, other carriers and other governments around the world as, as far as the overall satellite communications with television. What's your responsibility aboard the ship? Well, my responsibility aboard the ship is to be very sure that uh, the feed that we get from the cameras uh, that is fed out onto the satellite is, uh, is just as good leaving us as it is coming into us. And uh, also, by the way, uh, we have this teletype uh, uh, room down below decks, which is responsible for getting the press copy out to the world. That's something brand new on this mission, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely new. It's, uh, we've, we've never tried it before, but uh, we do have uh, 10 teletype machines below deck, and we will handle all of the uh, reporter's copy from the ship via satellite uh, to the press pool in Houston. Ron Ogle is the producer who is handling the pool feed for all three networks for the USS Hornet. Ron, what are your responsibilities as producer? Well, the responsibilities as producers includes the entire setup for the operation of the three network pool aboard the ship. That is, getting the men aboard, getting the equipment aboard, uh, deciding how it will be handled as far as editorial content, uh, make sure we get it, hopefully. How much equipment do you have aboard? We have three large vans, uh, two of them about 45 feet long, one about 26, and we will have, before we sail for downrange, 35 people. Where do these people come aboard? They come aboard in Pearl Harbor. Howard Mooney is quartermaster first class from Hot Springs, Hot Springs, Arkansas, and like with so many of the people aboard the Hornet, they seem to have made a step from a completely landlocked state out here into the middle of the South Pacific. And what are your responsibilities? All right, so the purpose of our, our job out here is to have the ship on a precise location for the Apollo 11 splashdown recovery. We have uh, two or three various means to determine the ship's position. One is an electronical type uh, apparatus, the other is celestial navigation, where we shoot sun, uh, stars, and moon, and so forth like this. So in other words, you're going to be there when the guys come down, whether it's after the first couple of orbits or whether it's from a successful mission. Yes, sir, we will. For this mission to be successful, not everyone on the team should have their eyes on the sky. Let's meet some of the others. How did you decide on the Navy? Why are you here? My uncle was in the Navy, and I decided, you know, the uniform and adventure. I see you're fixing pizza here right now. Um, you've got probably, what, a dozen or more pans here. How many will it take altogether? Oh, about 24 pans to feed 12, 1,300 people. Are you going to use this work after you get out of the service? It's, it's very probable. It's not actually what I would like for a career. Though. What are you going to do? What, what would you like to do? Uh, well, all my life, I uh, have wanted to be a mortician, actually. <laughs> really? The food looks very good. I haven't heard anybody complain yet. You must be a good cook. But... Well, thanks. I'll try to do my best. Uh, and bosun's mate third class, Bobby Virgil from Kansas City, Missouri, is one of the bosun's mates, saying that the work gets done. Is your uh, assignment on the Hornet your, your first uh, tour on the ship? No, this is my third. 2,700 men from every state in the Union who as kids wanted to grow up to be morticians, school teachers, sailors. And now for 2,700 different reasons find themselves aboard the USS Hornet to make possible the safe recovery of our moon men the Apollo 11 crew. The right people, in the right place, at the right time. <laughs>